on, friends? Welcome back to another top five amazing, groundbreaking website that are gonna inspire you, open your mind to what's possible with today's web technology. Let's dive right into it. So first website that I wanna show you, I'm gonna reload it so you can see the intro, is actually a tool for doctors. It's called Lens. Basically, it kind of scans out medical uh, medical papers uh, to give them insights. Now, what I really love about this is that they are using a lot of things like these 3D kind of like metaphors showing you how the words and data comes off the paper um, to allow the doctors to be paperless. So the, the important stuff goes out of the page. There's a lot of visual storytelling here. That's really nice. But apart from that, they're doing so many other things here. First of all, amazing typography and all of these very nice interactions. Um, they're also using things like your experience so you actually feel like what's going on here. So as you can see this, you feel like you're looking through a lens now and you can start reading this. So they're using a lot of different tools here to tell the story of how this tool helps you to see more and expand you know, what you see as a doctor. Now, this is this is what kind of is weird. They have an amazing photography here, but it's actually, I feel like it's, a little bit weird because they don't look like doctors, they just look like fashion models. Um, but anyway, as you scroll down, um, again, they're telling you the story of paper to digital, that's what this whole 3D thing is trying to show you metaphorically. Um, but I think it's really, really interesting what they're, how they're doing it. They're going to give you a demo here. So as I said, I think they're really using fantastic art direction. They're using photography, all the interaction, actually interaction and typography to tell that story. As I said, the only thing I think is weird is I would love these models to look actually like doctors because all of a sudden it kind of looks like you're into a, you know, fashion brand all of a sudden and not a tool for doctors. That being said, I still think they did fantastic work here. Um, and also this tool looks like it's uh, pretty impactful. All right, the next website that I wanna show you is this one. So it's a company that's called Prometheus. Basically they're creating or their mission is to create fuel from air. And the way that you explore this website as you scroll down, it actually feels like you're in some kind of a video game, right? And they're telling you the story here, you know, since the beginning, you've been driven to explore. You're actually feeling like you're in a video game. Not only that, it also looks like, see the stars in the background. You feel like you're in a science fiction, futuristic movie. And I actually think that's what they're trying to do here, right? And actually they're telling you here, hold space bar if you wanna accelerate the car and you kinda of hear the gas. So it's really interesting. They're basically telling you how they're going to create fuel from air, which sounds like science fiction. It sounds like a future and that's what they actually want you to feel. They want you to feel as if we are creating something that is so innovative that is actually feels like science fiction. Although it's actually what they're doing and you can see, you can learn about their technology and their explaining how they're doing it. But again, I really love this way of telling that story as if you are a futuristic um, science fiction brand. Again, you're, they're encouraging you here, hold space bar to energize molecules, and then you see how this thing is created. I really encourage you to go check out this link and play with it. First of all, it sounds like a super interesting technology. Basically, it creates fuels that runs with normal cars, um, but as not you know uh, doing any harm to the planet. Anyway, super interesting. I love the science fiction uh, video game experience here. Well done. Also, good typography and uh, pretty pretty cool website. The next one is an e-commerce website that is called Mafanfa or something. Basically, what I love about this, this is uh, curation of fashion and stuff from kind of Latin America. But what's really cool here is how they've used these colors, like this, co the, like great color palette here with a bunch of colors and geometric shapes. But you can definitely see that the influence for that comes from these actually, uh, you know, Latin, fashion kind of like, um, you know, historical 
um, you know, all of this fashion, they took the influence from it and they've kind of like minimized it into creating this brand which combines both the modern interpretation of it but also kind of like the original interpretation of it. And I think this is really, really cool how they've done it. So there's, I feel like it's an e-commerce with a twist but they've really used the nice shapes and color to to make this really, really stand out. Actually, if you go into the shop, which is, again, also feels like a normal e-commerce, but there's all of these details. Look, when I hover over the lookbook, how these micro interaction, these things kind of bounce here. I really think they did fantastic work taking the details and bringing you know, to life this, um, Latin sense of fashion, colors, and vibe to this. I really, really like this. The next one that I wanna show you is this one, Bennett Tea. And this website is actually, again, they're selling teas, obviously, but they're using very kind of like, you can say weird typography or weird layout. It's all kind of boxed out. This, if you're thinking about this from a usability perspective, you might say, ah, it's not really readable. This font is not really readable, but I do think that it really, really stands out. And especially the way that they're showcasing the product, they've created this layout, which does resonate with a lot of times how you know packaging looks like. This is a lot of times how we do layout for packaging. And when you scroll down, actually Actually, the layout stays and the only thing that changes is the box, the layout and the actual mini tiny video of the T here at the top. I think this is really, really cool. In general, when you're creating a scroll experience where some part of the layout maintains stability and the other uh, content actually change, I think this is a really, really great experience. Allows you to create um, an experience that changes and, and invents itself, but you're still, understands really clearly what's going on, where is the context and where are you? So I really, really like what they're doing here. Again, I don't know that this font is the most legible. I don't know that I really wanna read all of that, but I do think it's super, super memorable as a brand. And uh, yeah, sometimes you make these trade-offs to be unique and I appreciate that. The last website that I wanna show you for today is this one, it's called The Russian Pantheon, and basically it's a website that um, want to teach you about a big monument in Russia and give you all the history and the context. Now, what they did here, and I'm gonna scroll this, first of all, I'm in love with this font. I really, really love it. Super sharp, super cool, super has a, a, tons of personality. Um, and combined it with a pretty solid, I would say, sans serif font that's more readable. Um, they're gonna tell you the story here of this status. And the way that they did this is they've created this 3D monument. And basically, as you scroll down, you're exploring it and it's telling you the story. So technically, it's pretty simple, right? Uh, there's pretty much a lot of software today and we've covered them here on the channel that allows you to take a 3D model and as you scroll down, you know, you rotate it, you move it and that's basically everything that's going on here, right? You scroll through some text and the monument moves and as you scroll down, it kind of zooms in to give you context about the specific peoples here and the story but it's just every single scroll position, like I just stopped here, fantastic layout, hierarchy, you have you know the main title, subtitle, and then some text, and there's a good balance here. Sometimes it, the text comes from behind or on top, but it's just, it looks so good. Also, the 3D looks pretty realistic, so you can actually feel like you're pretty much there. But again, you get here, you know, it's readable, and you can actually, explore this, you know, sometimes the text comes on the front. You can spend hours on this because there are literally hundreds of figures on here and they're basically telling everybody's stories. Um, so this is, I think, a very, very simple concept of how we're gonna tell this story of this big monument. Um, you know, they could have done that in, in a gallery or where you click and, you know, and you, you learn about each, uh, person, but I, I feel like this is a great storytelling technique where you're just scrolling down and you learn more and more and more. And as you see, you can see how many characters there are here. They're actually gonna zoom in here and teach you about any one of them and then you can click here to learn more. Again, I love the font, love the layout. I think this is a simple idea, perfectly executed, 
really, really well done. All right, thank you for watching this. I hope this inspired you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're interested, by the way, I think today our Webflow Masterclass might be open for enrollments. If you're interested, make sure you check below. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.